Welcome back. President Obama has appointed several members to a commission to study the potential creation of a National Museum of the American Latino. One of those members is Sid Wilson, and Sid serves on the Board of Directors of the Puerto Rican Legal Defense and Education Fund and the National Council of La Raza. Buenos dias, thanks for being here, sir. Thank you, good morning. And you're also on the? Uh, yeah, I'm also on the Board of Directors of Dominicans on Wall Street. Okay. Uh, one of the founding board members. Full disclosure there, thank you Absolutely. for being with us. The idea behind the possible museum, who's, whose brainchild is it? Well, uh, this was uh, an initiative that was started by Congressman uh, Xavier Becerra uh -huh. uh, in the House of Representatives and uh, then Senator uh, Ken Salazar, uh, who's now the Secretary of the Interior. Absolutely. And so with the collaboration of uh, Latino organizations from around the country, mm -hmm. uh, we pushed for legislation in 2008 um, to create a study commission for the National Museum of the American Latino, which was signed by President Bush uh, in 2008 into law. And was, and was now executed okay. under President Obama. What will the commission look at? Uh, the commission is going to look at all the different aspects of what it will take to build a national museum in mm -hmm. the American Latino. Mm -hmm. We have to pick where we're going to build it, yes. how much it's going to cost. We have to pick what's going to go into it, and we have to understand uh, what's the public-private uh, mm -hmm. uh, partnership that's going to take to, to build a museum of this magnitude, because this is going to be probably the largest uh, Latino infrastructure mm -hmm. project in U.S. history. I mean, you, you, uh, those are other questions I had on the list. It, it doesn't yes. seem like those have been answered just yet. They're in the process of being studied. Yes, Where are you exactly. going to build it? How much it's going to cost? Uh, right now, we're very much in our infancy. I mean, we're, we, uh, we've had two meetings already of the commission, uh, and uh, we're going to be very aggressive. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, law states that we have two years to report back to the president, but our goal is to have a report back to the president within one year. Okay. The commission was formed how recently? Yeah. Uh, it was just formed last month. Okay. Uh, last so month. it was just created last month, the president. And, it's, and what I should say is it's a bipartisan commission. Mm -hmm. Uh, the president had seven uh, appointees, uh, but also the uh, uh, Speaker of the House, right. uh, Nancy Pelosi, had, had four appointments, and okay. so did Harry Reid. But also on the Republican side, you had uh, Senator Mitch McConnell on the Republican side, Kentucky. and also Minority Leader uh, uh, John Boehner. So it's a true bipartisan mm -hmm. commission. Who picked you? Uh, I'm proud to say I was picked by President Barack Obama. That's and, wonderful. Uh, That's I plan, fantastic. Plan to serve well. Okay. Did he personally make the phone call to you, or it was delivered through someone else? Uh, no, it, w it was the White House uh, okay. that... Uh, did that, but I had the honor of uh, being at the White House for his uh, Fiesta Latina event uh, with the Thank president you. and his family, okay. uh, and the Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, who was president there too. You want to share with me what ran through your heart and your soul when, when you quote unquote got the call? Um, it, you know, it was it's just one of those feelings when uh, when when you just get that uh, opportunity, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get that stomach feeling yeah. saying, you know, wow, this is uh, an incredible privilege to uh, to get uh, uh, appointed by the president of the United States. Uh, and uh, and for that reason, uh, I plan to uh, to serve well and okay. uh, do everything I can to work with my fellow. I'm sure members. you will. Sit tight. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll come back and finish off our discussion with Sid Wilson and the National American Latino Museum on its way. Welcome back. We've got about two more minutes with Sid Wilson, recently appointed to a commission to study the potential creation of the National Museum of the American Latino. What would the museum commemorate? I know the American Latino, but more specifically. Yes. Well, the, the goal of this museum is to commemorate and capture mm -hmm. the 500 years of history of Latino influence uh, in the United States going back to the colonial days, um, because there, Latinos have been uh, in the United States uh, just as long as all the other ethnicities mm -hmm. uh, that, that, have, that have been here, with the exception of the Native Americans. Yeah. And so, th uh, so this is an opportunity to capture that for many generations to come. People lose sight of that. that it's they do. This isn't you know, a 50-year, 60-year thing. This is 500 years. That's right. I mean, we didn't just yeah. come 20, 30, 40 years ago. We've mm -hmm. been here since the beginning. Let me put you on the spot. The biggest contribution of Latinos to our country. Wow, uh, you know we or are very, one of the many <laughs> um, family oriented uh, yeah. and and uh, strong work ethic. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean those are the and the food is good too. Oh, absolutely! I love my rock and pollo. So, <laughs> you know, no deadlines just yet. You mentioned you have two years actually to get the report filled. But right, you've hit the ground running already. That's correct. Had two meetings. When's your next meeting? Uh, um, we're having conference calls right. uh, at least once, sometimes twice a month, mm -hmm. and then we're probably going to get together again in December uh, for face-to-face -face meetings to follow up. Any early indications about possibly where it might go? 
Well, we, we know that we're targeting Washington, D.C. We just don't know whether it'll be on the National Mall, right. off the mall, somewhere else in Washington. But I think it's a, it's a, uh, we know this. we somewhere in the Washington, D.C. area. Good luck. Keep us posted. Thank you so much. Well, it. Thank you for being Bless here. It. I appreciate it. And thanks to you at home for being with us this morning. If you missed any part of our show, you can watch it online at 7online.com. That wraps up another edition of Tiempo. I'm Joe Torres. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone.